Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Kenny. I'm addicted to luxury handbags and I love pre-loved luxury shopping because I love to save money while still enjoying luxury. So today, I'll be talking about Chanel bags for men. Men wearing Chanel bags. There's something not right, but also it's so good that you want to do it. <laughs> like especially when I start to look in Chanel bags and what I normally do is browse on Pinterest for street style photos and when I started doing this one of the few people that popped up were Prince Pelayo and Brian Boy well specifically Prince Pelayo he was rocking this the denim Chanel boy bag and there's just something about it he was wearing a suit and the Chanel boy bag well there's just something about the juxtaposition of a feminine bag and wearing men's wear which I think that inspired me so much with my aesthetic as well and yeah like during those times I think it's a shocker for people especially for men to wear Chanel bags or women's items I'm so glad right now that gender fluidity is much more accepted and you know we don't get as much hate as we did before and I'm so glad, like, honestly. Like, to be stuck in one style is qu quite so monotonous. And I'm so glad that we're on this age of acceptance. Well, it's still under the way. But yeah, like, I love, I've been interested in Chanel bags. And these kind of bags are quite expensive as well. And so I wanted it to work seamlessly in my wardrobe. And of course within my budget as well and so when I try to buy Chanel bags I look into the pre-love market most of the time I like to share my experiences and yeah I hope this is this would be helpful for you especially for guys who are starting their Chanel collection and does not know where to start and I hope this video is for you yeah let's address the elephant in the room and it's the it's my first ever Chanel bag like, I can still remember the day that I got it. It's so magical. Well, I actually love the Chanel Le Boy bag because this is the first, like me, this is the first edgier, like, I can go into the realm of menswear as well because, you know, you get the Chanel classic quilts, but with these design around it, it breaks up the very elegant and classy Chanel look. Plus, it's not the CC turn lock that you see on classic flaps. And Karl Lagerfeld gave us this kind of turn lock where the CC is embedded in the metal. And sometimes you don't see it from a distance, which I like, which I love. And makes me, you know, have a second look sometimes. It's kind of mysterious that way when you don't instantly recognize a bag sometimes and to break that up as well they put this like a little bit larger like chains with the leather strap and I love that juxtaposition like honestly I just love navy seriously and yeah I just love that like the perfect balance of the feminine with a masculine take on the bag and you know you know it's called the boy bag <laughs> so you know that kind of resonated with me with that kind of resonated with me so well <laughs> that i really wanted it this is this was my holy grail bag for the longest time and it took me a while to save up for it and yeah i just love it yeah, like, and also I just want to mention, like, this bag signifies the edgier bags. And specifically with, like, leather finishes like the suede, which is quite matte. It's not shiny. It doesn't, you know, grab too much attention on the streets. And, like, these kind of leather, you know, they might be a little bit high maintenance. But I just love the casual vibe that it gives off. Yeah, and that's why I think this bag works so well in my wardrobe. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's also mention other, like, leather manipulations. Like, 
In this case, this is quite a mirror image of the Chanel Classic flap, but this bag worked so well with me because, you know, it's kind of getting inspiration with the sportswear, with the perforations on it. And this is called the Chanel French Riviera that was released in 2003. And I think they released this, you know, to give people like an alternative to the classic flaps, which was a little bit more expensive. And compared to this, which was um, slightly affordable. And yeah, I just love it. And this came with variety of sizes and leather finishes too. And this was in the small, this is in the medium, and there's like a large version as well. And this bag really worked for me because, you know, it's quite thin. It's not too bulky and mushy at the same time. <clears throat> yeah, this, this bag seriously surprised me. I thought it wouldn't work for me because of, I was so worried about the strap length that I think it helped that this bag was not is it was not too bulky and it's it, it helped the length of the strap to sit just under my chest and yeah I think also that leather the leather perforation on it helped out to balance out the very classic look of the Chanel classic flap that's why I was okay you know to try that CC on the front that sometimes scares me sometimes to wear <clears throat> the next bag that I used to have but it's not in my collection anymore for some reason was the Chanel 2.55 reissue bag and I say this because you know there's this is the most understated Chanel bag it's classic no question about it but the thing is that there's you barely see the Chanel engraved on the turn lock and if you have it, you know what I'm trying to say. And there's no, aside from the classic quilts, there's no other branding to it. And the bijou chain is just so pretty. And it just, to me, it's also edgy in, in that sense. And I love it. Yeah, that's why. And to me, this bag will stand out the test of time. It's classic because there's no like logo to it. I think I compare the classic like Chanel 2.55 to the classic Celine box because you know it's similar there's no logo to it which I think these kind of bags will see you through forever in your wardrobe. Those kind of bags are you what you call investment because there's no need to replace them and I think if your sense of taste changes I think you might still be able to make it work in that sense. So yeah, that's the Chanel ratio. So let's talk small, tiny mini bags. With the advent of the mini bag trend, um, I jumped into the bandwagon and I also got the Chanel Walk. I used to have the rectangular mini as well, but I sold that. and. Yeah, like to me, the Chanel walks, I think this is the starter pack if you're trying to go into Chanel because it's still not as expensive as a classic flap. But mind you, like this is $4,000 now, which is absolutely madness. But still not breaking like five figure for a handbag. <laughs> but the Chanel classic walk worked for me because especially the boy walk, this was the first one. As I've mentioned on the Le Boy one, the CC is not too massive, which is a tick for me. And this is a tiny, it's it's thin. So I can easily tuck it, which I can easily tuck it under the jacket, which I normally do most of the time when I'm in a crowd and I want to hide it and I don't want to show off. Not that I do show off when I wear my Chanel bags, but I just love the incognito look when it's tucked under a jacket. Like I love the incognito look. You know, is that a sh is is he wearing a fake Chanel bag? Kind of thoughts, like running in my head sometimes. 
And I just love that you can tuck it and they barely see that you have something like especially when you go on a date or you know shopping around this is a perfect like very versatile bag and you know if you want it you can always pop it around the back and the Chanel walks are like the strap are a little bit longer which to me it's fine but you can easily tuck it around your back and they just see that very like dainty chain which I love I love the dainty chains on the Chanel box they just look like a necklace and accessory the common argument with Chanel box is that you don't fit a lot of things in here but that you have to decide for yourself and I've done a few reviews on my Chanel box um, if you're interested I'll put the links on my info box below but yeah this has started my love for walks this specific version let's talk bigger messenger style bags now I don't have a massive like messenger style bags but I'll use this as a reference so I say this um, because you know they mimic like messenger like office items that men wear to work and let's mention the Chanel 19 like this bag is so malleable very casual also elegant but I love it because it mimics that messenger like bags that men wear and what I don't like about it is the massive CC and plus they put the leather like detail into the turn lock as well which puts me off a little bit and also my friend Meg mentioned that it's like a spider which after she told me I cannot unsee it anymore but I hope they redesign it and you know make it a little bit more polished and just put like a full metal hardware on the turn lock but who knows if I got the money and I still love it then maybe I'll do it but I just love the very casual like look of that bag and also because there's like two-tone metal to it I'm just very like classic in terms of my style I just want a like very clean polished look but that's a great bag and yeah I just love the navy color of that for sure if I do if I do buy it in the future it would be the navy color and I hope they get rid of the little like leather detail on the turn lock but yeah there's also other bags that come in like bigger sizes the Chanel Jumbo in particular or the Maxi and I've seen this bag especially on the lambskin get a little bit mushy and I love that slouch look and especially if you bang it under your arms and shoulder like this you know it, it makes you look like it's like a toad of style in that and I'll also mention the Gabrielle and this bag was advertised by Pharrell Williams and so I think and G Dragon and it's yeah I love I love the look of this there's no branding aside from the um, zipper pull with which you see the CC to it and it's 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 a great bag it's a toad you can use in so many ways and yeah like I love that bag and I just didn't pull the trigger for some reason but I don't know I'm still so half heart I'm still half-hearted to that bag and I'm so careful in buying bags now because I've had so much mistakes before and these bags are so expensive it has I have to be very certain that I love it before pulling the purchase but yeah, I highly recommend the Chanel Gabrielle and yeah, there's it's just the quilts and I love the combination of the hard like bottom and the very mushy top and yeah, like you can make it make that bag work for sure. I wanted to share with you guys that you know when I got my Chanel Le Boy bag and you know it's still quite overwhelming to me. I still was a little bit intimidated to wear it but you know just get that confidence together and you'll be fine but 
in saying that, like, the Chanel bags that actually work for me were the bags that are a, bit, uh, are a little bit more understated. But this bag is just... It's, that's the bag. That, this is me in a bag, in a Chanel bag. And I love it so much. I thought it's quite monotonous to be stuck in one style, like especially for men. And our only choices are like the messenger style, the little crossbody ones. But I'm so glad that we can experiment and try like women's bags because they're more experimental. There's a lot of silhouettes that they have um, that they have created and I love experimenting and especially incorporating them in your style. Guys, you do you. If you can rock a pink Chanel flap bag, then by all means do it. I'm not here to tell you off. I'm just here to share my experience, like especially for men who are still not comfy to wear Chanel bags. You are your own critic. Just pull yourself together. That confidence will black out everyone else who is trying to say something behind your back and don't listen, all right? Listen to yourself, listen to your gut. And yeah, that's my video for you guys. I hope you had some takeaways on this video. And yeah, rock it, just rock it. YOLO. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye guys.